IPS wants to get out of the transportation business. In fact, the state's largest school district is turning over its bus operation to a private company and is expected to save money and improve safety. Our Rich Van Wyk tonight has the numbers for you and how they add up for students and parents. This is a $99 million three-year deal. It's aimed at saving the cash-strapped IPS 21 million bucks and getting 25,000 children to and from school safely every day using new technology. A private contractor is already running two-thirds of the IPS bus routes. The plan, to make one new company responsible for running all of the school district's 300-plus routes. IPS Deputy Superintendent Scott Martin. I see that it is the best thing for our families, our community, and even our employees. The new company, First Student, comes with a new fleet of buses, equipped with the newest video cameras, watching students and photographing drivers who ignore stop arms. First Student would also test a new program that actually keeps track of individual kids. If they got on the bus, where that bus is, where where they got off the bus, what time they got off the bus. About 135 bus drivers and bus attendants would lose their jobs, but could be hired to work for first student. In the end, they'll make more money. Uh, there'll be a pay increase plus a sign-on bonus at, at, the time that, at the time the contract begins. If parents have a problem, IPS says they'll still be calling IPS. The school district intends to keep a small transportation team on staff. It will be responsible for holding first student accountable for service and student safety. The contract expected to be approved Thursday night. And with the 25,000 children riding 300 routes a day, IPS has about as many passengers as Indigo.